prove by mathematical induction that the next statement is true. If you don't remember, this sign means factorial. It is equal to the product of all integers from 1 to a given number. For example, 5 factorial is 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5. So, as usual, we start with uh, considering the first possible value for n. Here, n is positive integer, so we start with considering n to be equal to 1. So, we write for n equals 1. The left-hand side becomes 2 times 1 factorial is equal to 2 right hand side is 2 to the power 1, 1 factorial squared, which is equal to 2. Add left hand side is equal to right hand side. We can conclude that it's true or n is 1. The next step is, as usual, we write assume true or n equals k and just rewrite this statement substituting k for n. So 2k factorial is greater or equal than 2 to the power k, k factorial squared. And the next step is consider n is k plus 1. And we consider left hand side, it becomes 2k plus 1 factorial. And our aim here finally is to get that left hand side is greater or equal than right hand side if we substitute k plus 1 for, for n. So finally we should get greater or equal than 2 to the power k plus 1, k plus 1 factorial squared. And also we can use uh, the next properties of inequalities. Uh, for example, if uh, it is given then x is greater uh, than 20, you can automatically conclude that x is greater than 10. Or, for example, if uh, it is given that x is greater than a and a is greater than 20, you can conclude that x is greater than 20. So we consider left hand side, we can see parentheses, so we can open them and, and get that it is equal to 2k plus 2 factorial. And we can see that it is given 2k factorial is uh, greater or equal to something. And, uh, to use this information, we can split it into two k factorial multiplied by two k plus one and multiplied by two k plus two. It's actually the same uh, like we can rewrite 12 factorial as uh, 10 factorial multiplied by 11 and multiplied by 12. And since some expression is multiplied by positive integer and this expression is greater or equal than something, we can rewrite that uh, this becomes greater or equal than, just substitute this expression for this and get that greater or equal than 2k k factorial squared 
and multiplied by 2k plus 1, 2k plus 2. We can see a common factor 2 and we can factor out 2 and multiply 2k and 2 and finally get 2k plus 1. So we can rewrite that it, it is greater or equal than 2k plus 1k factorial squared 2k plus 1 and k plus 1. So we need finally k plus 1 factorial squared. So to get k plus 1 factorial it should be we should get k factorial multiplied by k plus 1 and since it's squared it must be k factorial squared multiplied by k plus 1 k plus 1 uh, we have k plus 1 but another factor is k 2k plus 1 not uh, k plus 1 we need k plus 1 so if here would be k plus 1 it would be required but we can use the next property that since 2k plus 1 is greater than k plus 1 it's definitely true it's uh, we can conclude uh, that this expression will be greater than I rewrite initial left hand side so 2k plus 1 factorial will be greater or equal than 2 to the power k plus 1 k factorial squared k plus 1 k plus 1. It's uh, similarly to you know, we have x is greater than 20 but we need uh, x greater than 10. So we just conclude that if uh, some expression is greater than uh, 20 it's uh, automatically will be greater than uh, the less value. And hence we get what we need so k factorial multiplied by k plus 1 it's k plus 1 factorial so finally it is greater or equal than 2 k plus 1 k plus 1 factorial squared as required hence true for n equals k plus 1 and conclusion if true for n equals k, true for n equals k plus 1. Since true for, for n equals 1, true for any n is positive integer. And that's all.